Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Luke and I'm here with Motion Page. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create kind of like a scrolling text effect. Uh, this is quite popular. Sometimes you'll see headings and like one section of the heading is kind of scrolling up. I'll put some examples on the screen right now so you can see what I'm talking about. We're going to do two simple examples in this video and uh, yeah let's get right into it i will just say for this video i will be using bricks builder once again so if you are using bricks then this should be good for you but the principle is the same if you're using oxygen or anything else if you can uh, mimic the markup then you shouldn't have any issues whatsoever all right so i've just gone ahead and created a new page here i'm going to call this rolling text and i'm going to edit this with bricks so just for convenience, I'm going to go ahead and import some sections to make this faster. And for the video today, I want to focus on this section here and we're going to apply the effect to this community thing here. All right. So as you can see, I have two sections here. And like I said, we're going to focus on this purple text right here where it says community. So you can see how it's made up. We have a, a title container, which also contains this text. And then inside there, we have the heading. Now this heading currently has a span attached to it to give it that purple color, but I'm going to separate those. So what I'm going to do first is wrap my heading in a div. I'm going to call this uh, heading wrapper. Now what I want to do is just duplicate this heading. And on the first one, I want to remove this community like that. And then on this one, I just want to keep the community text. Okay. So you should have something that looks like this. Now, obviously we want these to be in line with each other. So what I'm going to do is on the heading wrapper, I want this to be display flex as a row. So I'm just going to apply a utility class. You could also do it like this flex uh, row and that'll do automatic, but uh, I'm going to use some utility classes here. Do flex row. That's basically the same thing as what I just did. And then I'm also going to add some gap to this as well. Now you can add the gap uh, here. Uh, do make sure you're on the ID before you add gap, just so you're not uh, messing up your utility classes like I just did. But I'm just going to add some gap with the utility class and that's going to be extra small. So now I have something that looks like that. Okay, so you should have a heading wrapper, which is containing your left side text here. And then the heading here, which is going to wrap the scrolling text. So what I'm going to do for this one, I'm going to wrap this once again in a div. And I'm going to call this rolling text wrapper. Now I want to duplicate this heading two more times. So you should have something that looks like this. And now I'm just going to rename these. I'm going to give them different values. So I'm going to call this one members and then this one clients. Now you'll notice that my uh, gradient has disappeared. So my gradient is actually um, also a class. So I can just apply that class manually to this up here. So community, and then I'm just going to go up here and do gradient text, gradient primary and copy the styles, paste styles. Okay. Bricks builder doesn't want to do that. So we'll do it manually. All right. So now this might happen. Now all we need to do is go to the uh, rolling text wrapper and just make sure that this is the flex column. And the final thing I want to do is just make sure that the typography is set to left align, left align, make sure that's done on the ID. Okay. So you should have something that looks like this now. So let's again, do a quick overview. So we have the uh, header wrapper here. Then inside there, we have the left header. And then on the right side, we have the rolling text wrapper, which contains three headings on this uh, rolling text wrapper. I want to give it a unique class that we can use in motion page. So all I'm going to do is apply a class called rolling text. 
Okay, so I'm gonna save this for now and let's open up motion page just to see what this all looks like. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and create a new timeline. I'm gonna call this rolling text. Now I want this to be constant, so I'm gonna keep this as page load. I do want to load our new page here. And we wanna target this class here called rolling text. So I'm just gonna type in rolling text here. So when I hover over this, you can see over here, it's being highlighted, which is good. Now, if I apply a translate on the two, just to see what's happening here. So let's do just for example, minus hundred percent. So you can see it's going up like so. Now, a couple of things I want to do in Bricks Builder is I want to give our main heading wrapper a set height. Okay. So I got to lay out here and we'll do height. Well, actually, let's do max height and let's try something like um, 67 pixels. So you can see now that this box is cutting off the uh, the other two texts there, which is a good thing. That's kind of what we want. So I'm going to save that again and see if anything changes here. So you can see the distance it travels up now has changed. Now, the next thing I want to do is make sure that these are all 100% height of its parent. So I'm just going to go to heading and I want to make sure that the, uh, the minimum height of this is 100% and we'll do the same for each one as well. So minimum height, 100% of the parent. And then this one already has a min height and I guess that's coming from this one here. So once again, let's, let's save that min height refresh this one so now as you can see when it's um, going up a hundred percent it's more in line so the second one comes in and it's more in line with the parent now which is good so now what I want to do is duplicate this one I'm going to move this forward one second because I want there to be a slight pause on the page load and then we'll give another second break and then here instead of 100% we'll do 200% and now we'll just play the timeline. So you can see already we have this nice effect it's kind of going up like that. Perfect. So the last thing we need to do in bricks is go to the main heading wrapper and then just do overflow hidden. And uh, it looks like I applied uh, 67 pixels on the wrong element. So I'm just going to look where I applied that. So you can see I accidentally applied it to the uh, gap extra small class, which is not good. So let me just go ahead and remove that. And we need to apply it to the heading wrapper on the ID. So that needs to be 67 pixels like so. Okay, so save that and then let's see motion page here once again. Cool, so we're almost there. Now all I want to do now is go to the uh, advanced options and then I want to play the timeline in a loop. Now minus one, as you can see, minus one just means uh, infinite amount of times. I'm also going to enable yo-yo so that it goes back on itself. So let's see that once again. Now that's too quick, so we'll apply a one second delay, just like we have in these gaps here. So now it's going to wait one second and then go back. Now, because there's a one second delay, that means that here it's going to go back to break and then wait one second. So here's actually two seconds. So I'm just going to move these back one second each and that should fix everything. So we'll play that one more time. One second. One second. Okay, cool. Now, the last thing I want to do is set the ease to be none. And this just means it's going to be much more linear. Like so. All right, so I'm going to save timeline and see this on the front end. So you can see it's rolling up, it's going to wait, come back down. Okay, so that's the first example. Now the next example I want to show you is going to be uh, a much more linear without delays in between. And it's going to be a uh, 
a repeating scroll. So what I want to do now is back in uh, Bricks, all I'm going to do is this rolling text wrapper. I'm going to duplicate this and this one's going to be rolling text wrapper 2. I'm going to label this one as 1. Okay. And then the last thing I need to do is wrap these two in its own element. So I'm just going to convert, not to convert, sorry, wrap into a div. And I'm going to call this um, rolling text wrapper. Like that. I'm going to put this one inside of it as well. Just for the time being, I'm going to remove the overflow hidden so I can see what's going on. So as you can see, that already looks pretty good. So to be honest, the setup already looks good. So I'm just going to leave that like it is and then put the overflow hidden back on here. Well, actually, let's leave it like this so we can see what's happening within motion page. So save this. All right. So remember, this is example two. So I'm just going to change this uh, timeline a little bit here. So I'm just going to delete this animation. And uh, let's just reset everything here. So page load is correct. Now translate on rolling text. We want that to go up 100%. Okay, if I add the loop once again, without any delay this time. So you can see here, it's quite fast. So I'm just going to extend this to around seven seconds. So it's much slower now. And because we have two, it loops nicely. Now, if I don't have two, if I go back to bricks and delete, for example, rolling text wrapper two. So if I delete that and uh, go back to motion page, you'll see here that we have this undesirable effect going on. So it's going up uh, minus 100%, but um, obviously when it gets towards the end, there's a lot of blank space here. And obviously that's not good. We don't want that. So that's why we are adding two of these uh, elements. So I'm just going to revert that change. Save that. And now if I apply the uh, overflow hidden. We'll save it now. And now in motion page, you'll see this uh, happening quite nicely. The second one comes into effect. That loops quite nice. Okay, so I'm going to save this timeline and then let's check this on the front one more time. So community to members to clients and then back to community. So there you have it guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you like this simple tutorial. And if you have any questions or comments, please do leave them down below. And once again, we'll be back with another video next time. Thank you.